Steve. Hello and welcome to another Fat White Guy movie review. My name is Steve. Josh. Tonight we're going to be talking about a movie that is scary and based on a true story and it's called The Haunting in Connecticut. Yeah, and that, that was surprising the whole based on true story thing because normally the based on true story things, boring. Very boring. But this one, chills and thrills. It was very exciting. <laughs> so, uh, you want to tell them what it's about? Yeah, I'll tell them what it's about. It's <laughs> <laughs> so this family's moving to a new neighborhood. That part's kind of cliche, but it happens every day. People move to a new neighborhood, so you yeah. can't fault it for being in the movie. And they find a house that they like. It's really cool. They find it. It's a good price. And they find out it has some history. Woo! Yeah, you know. <laughs> so they, slowly but surely it starts to come to light that the house used to be a house of gathering for seances and calling of the deads and a lot of bad things happened in the house and um, some torture yep. and just really evil stuff and it has stayed with the house and the family starts to slowly but surely start seeing signs of this as they stay there i.g. some food going bad some um, creeps in the night, shadows in a room that's sealed off that they don't know what's back there. Mm, it's really the scary hidden room. Yeah. In this movie, I'm going to get this out of the way. This movie has what I will tell you is probably one of the top ten scariest scenes of my adult life. Really? Yep. This one? Yep. And I don't know if it has to do with the fact that because it's based on a true story or what, but it is just absolutely awesome and that's when he's sitting there looking at the TV and there's no picture on there and in the reflection of the TV you see something go behind him now yeah you say, that is awesome you, I, you I say like you say well big deal they show people in mirrors all the time it doesn't matter what makes this so spectacular is that after I watch this dude do you know how hard it was for me to lay down and look at a blank <laughs> screen your blank TV me? That's what's scary these days. When we were little, what was scary was Freddy Krueger, mm -hmm. Jason, um, the Leprechaun, Ghoulies, Gremlins. Well, Gremlins weren't scary. They were fun and lovable. Unless you found no, the, Yeah, no, the Gremlin was fun. It was the Mogwai that was yeah. fun and lovable. So, that was scary then. But now, what scares the bejesus out of me is stuff that could actually happen. <laughs> that's what's scary taxes especially when you're an adult and you have responsibilities and accountabilities for other people other than yourself yeah right yeah and so when I sit down and you show me something on TV that happened especially when it's based on a true story and I think to myself holy crap that's not fantasy that could happen that scares me so when I saw that dude I was just like wow that was an <laughs> awesome scene so simple and, you know, yeah, they do it in mirrors all the time, but this movie, laying down, looking at your TV screen, and phew, it's just like, crap. And it's very subtle. That's, yeah. that's, that's what I like. So many of the gags that they do for, for, for the scares are just subtle. Yeah. And, and, they're, and it's, it's, it's not, they, there are great special effects in this one. There's one scene that's on the, the cover of the DVD where the, the kid has the, 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 the demonic, uh, I, don't, I don't mean what, the force, demonic yeah. force pouring through his mouth into the air. That's awesome. It yeah. looks great. It looks great in the film. But the scariest stuff in this thing are, are the things that are done with reflections. Yeah. It are the things that are done with shadows. Yeah. Stuff that costs nothing. Yeah. Nothing but the film it's printed on. Yeah. It's the realism that makes you scared. Yeah, that's, 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 that's what really holds it. It was awesome, and it, and they had several, like you said, it had several good ones in there like that. There, were, every every scene had a, had a, a at least a small scare to it, at least a small moment where you where you're kind of like, well, what's in that box, or or you know, there's either a question or a scare. But question the good thing about scare. it was you didn't find yourself becoming immune to it for some reason. It just it it's, held. They, they the kept whole movie. they kept switching them up. They weren't yeah. doing the same gag over and over. Yeah. It was different scares each time. And something else that I really liked about this movie that scares me is old photos of old people wearing time specific garb. I mean that's really? just freaky. Yeah man, come on. And you some kitchen? dude with a mustache and a top hat and a vest coat, no that man's got secrets. <laughs> And I ain't messing with him. Especially <laughs> my old 
black and white photograph. <laughs> you see those in your house, you need to get out. Burn them. I don't even care if it's family. I don't care if you took the picture. <laughs> I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. You've We're all going to dress up, dress up in vintage clothes and we'll, we'll just go outside no, and take a bunch of pictures. No, we, won't. <laughs> we won't. I'll print them up in a nice sepia. <laughs> but the movie, and another spectacular part that was super awesome, and I need to do some research and see how they did this because it was really great, was when he carved all the words into his body. Oh, the, yeah. That, that was looks, spectacular. It looks very good. Yeah. The special, I mean, the, the makeup was just, I, it, you could actually see the, the, the divots. And, and to, to, to let you know, this scene there, I don't know whether it's Latin or what, what kind of symbols they're using, but he's carving in basically letter shapes and spelling out stuff on his skin. And you can see where it looks like there was the skin was raised a little bit and split yeah. open. Yeah, so I don't it know if it was gorgeous. generated by you know digital or if they had some kind of suit layer skin that was actually carved. That's what I like to think because the detail it, it had to was be latex. Phenomenal. It had to be latex. And it it had to be overlaid on that. It was great special effects, and I absolutely Top enjoyed notch. it. Top notch. And it just made you just like. It, 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 yeah, it, it really it's a cringe type thing. It's like, oh. Because you know that, that it goes back to the realism. You know there are people somewhere right now, somebody's sitting there carving up their skin yeah. because they think they need to do it for whatever reason. Now, they're not going to give the detail this fella had. He was Mark Twain. Uh, um, He's cutters. an idiot savant of this mess. <laughs> he was the Forrest Gump of cutters because. I mean, he just and, and, and just went on about it. But there's people that are gonna sit and do this. So again, you're hit with that realism, and you're like, yep. "Crap, that gonna happen." If I see a shadow on my TV, it might drive me to cutting myself up because it's gonna <laughs> freak me out. You know? And so it's just that realism hit you in the face again. It's just scary, scary, scary. And then those photos, and you're just like, "Oh." Oh, and the lead actor in this, the the young man with the with you know the young man has cancer in this film. And uh, and that's the reason they moved to the town was so he could he could get the cancer treatment, and the the he is just really good. He's a good actor, and and he's overall. Let me just say this preface with this. Overall, I like him, and he was a good actor. But there was times when he got on my nerves. He was just like a little bit too whiny to be. I mean, uh, he's kind of dying, Steve. Uh, so, so am I. So are you. <laughs> I mean, it's not my fault that it's accelerated for some, okay? You know? Whatever. <laughs> but he, he was really good. Virginia Virginia Matson, who played his mother, also really good. And the, the guy that really stood out for me was uh, one of the cancer, while he's going to get treatment, another one of the, the, the guys getting treatment is a is an Episcopalian priest or I don't know, he's some he's some kind of a holy man and it's played by Elias Coteus. And Elias Coteus is awesome. Once again, he he comes in and he just he's very subtle, awesome, awesome actor. So yeah, all three of them create a triangle in this film and the whole film holds up with those three people, those three actors, and they drive it. And you know, once again, you put good acting, good story. It's based on a true story, you know. I'm sure it, 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 it's got to be. Oh, well, sure, it's fluffed. I'm sure it's yeah. fluffed. It's got to be, but. And and then you also had the tremendous special effects, and it all adds up to a really, really good film. A really and cool a really, film. Really, really, again, one of the better, most spectacular endings. I mean. Yeah. The ending was just a whirlwind of WTFs, and it's just yeah. like. Yeah, wow, it was pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he, he I, I had it. you know, it, and uh, it's Johnny type of moment. You yeah, know? whenever he he comes through with the, uh, uh, I'm not I'm not gonna give it away, but it, it's it's a really good ending. It's really good. It's and, really and good. Normally, I'm not I'm not a fan of the supernatural genre. It just yeah. it doesn't appeal to me a whole lot. This film appealed to me. It was really it, good. It, it really uh, it 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 will take you from the pretty much from about the first fifteen minutes after you get past the first fifteen minutes. It just keeps going, scare, question, scare, question, and it doesn't let up. Yeah. So it, it's well worth a watch. Definitely. I, I definitely recommend seeing it. So what do you, what do you give it on a 10? Uh, well, I really like the movie. Again, I like the realism. 
I like the... It's freaking scary. There's no doubt about yeah, that. Yeah, there's a lot of scares. And I, I like the simple special effects. Um, the acting was great. Had a great finish up. Um, I like just the overall cinematography. Had that yeah. mild to dark. Just good, good look. I liked it. And I'm going to give the film... I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it an eight. An eight. Yep. I like wow. it. Wow. Yep. I'm sold because of the TV scene, man. I just love it. <laughs> the TV scene and the the detail and that skin stuff. Yeah. And the, and the other little simple scares and the awesome finish up and it's based on a true story. It's an eight. Dang. Well, I I'm I'm not quite as enthusiastic as Steve is. I really really dug it. I mean, and like I said, I'm not a fan of the supernatural genre, but. It is a good film, and and it is well worth a watch. Like he, like he was talking about the special effects, from the simple things to the to the more complex, you know, CGI stuff. All of it looks awesome. It's shot in such a way that it, it's very the whole mood is, is animated. It, it it is just overall an above average film, and and I'll give it a seven, because it, it and it, and I'm not even a supernatural fan. People. People that are fans of this of the supernatural genre, this is the best ghost it, movie yeah, that's come out, out in ten years. It's out in the front of the pack. It's, yeah, it's it, really it is a way stellar, above, it's, way above. Without overhyping it, it's a good movie. It's, yeah, it surpasses a lot of the crap that's been being put out. Yeah, in I mean there there are so it, how many is in haunting haunting in you know like fifteen of these things. Well, if I see another black haired preteen chick caught out of a TV or walk backwards up some stairs. I never liked, just like, I never liked it. Well, there's, there's 50 other movies that have the same premise, so yeah. just watch them. Maybe you'll like them. I didn't. I watched a lot of them. But yeah, it, it is uh, Haunting in Connecticut. Yep. It's a well worth a while film. And uh, give it a go. Yep, check it out. Let us know what you think about it in the comments below. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Twitter. Help get the word out about us. Help build up the channel. Let us know you're out there. Please favorite and share and subscribe. Just main thing is let us know you're out there. And uh, we'll see you next time. We'll see you on the next review. Take care.